in this country. We're the peacekeepers in this country, and our job is to not let organizational pride get in the way. You know, some departments may be hesitant yeah. to call other departments. I'll be the first to be uh, on the radio asking for help from other agencies here in Central Texas if uh, things start getting out of our hand for us. Oh, you have the Denver Post. I'll put it up on screen, please. ACLU wants probe into police stage DC in protest. DNC protest, and it says right there, police, undercover police, attacked other police, pretended to be violent, uh, inflamed other protesters and officers during the most intense night of the four-day event. So so we got there. We're busy getting a rent car. We're going to drive around in our RV. We drove there. And we are changed. Luke's there, and he says, these guys look like cops, and they're throwing things at other cops. Yeah. And, and then I watched Fox News, and it was, look at the evil anarchist protesters attacking police. And I mm-hmm. said, looks like it's staged, but we don't know. I wasn't there. And then it turns out it was. Yeah, well, if it turns out that it was, I can tell you one thing, that won't happen here as long as I'm a police chief. I won't tolerate. Well, I mean, it was. I mean, the police attack. admitted it. Is that what that said? I didn't, I didn't you know, see No, no, throw it back up on screen for him. Me? Denver Post, right there. Yeah, that's what I love about this new TV thing we're doing. Well, yeah. we can just put that's everything so nice. up. And, and, and see, this is what happened to me. Yeah, I got on talk radio, Access TV in '95, and I was covering the Federal Reserve, and, and, and but I was more like a Ron Paul guy, more mainstream version. Yeah. People started calling me, going, "There were black helicopters south of Houston. <laughs> uh, they they blew up a building," and I would laugh at them. And then I started seeing in other parts of Texas, and I found out they would cover- Delta Force would covertly lease a building and, yeah. they would, and buy a nursing home or in the middle of town, and then, and then blow it up. I mean, I, I mean, and I ended up going to these events, and buildings are on fire, and there's cribs running around, and, and police are coming up saying, "Turn your cameras off." And then you'd find out it was an urban warfare drill. And then the San Antonio police chief, Ali Philippus, refused to be paid off. They brought bags of cash in. I mean, I, I went to his office. I had the interview with the police chief, mm-hmm. and he said that when I said no, they went and bribed other city officials to do an urban warfare drill, which I had the RAND Corporation documents, that it was to condition the public for future martial law and to acclimate the police yeah. and, and governors to accept this. Now, then I said, okay, this black helicopter stuff's all real. I'm going to start going to these uh, public drills with Marines. So I went to Oakland, and we got Hebron, Maryland, and we'd have police walk over with Marines. They'd turn their cameras off, but we'd sneak around the bushes and get it. And they'd have role players screaming, I'm an American, not the camp. And the Marines would say, get ready for an execution. They'd put Americans down on their knees. Yeah. They'd practice shooting us in the back of the head. It's all on video, sir. Okay. I give you all these I'm telling just like I showed you the Denver Post. Yeah. And I went on the air, and I totally changed in 1998. I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is insane. And they're and because they know most of the police chiefs are nice, most of the public are nice, they're going to incrementally give us excuses, incrementally. Yeah. And see now, oh, we got to have them for civil unrest, the Army. Yeah. Regular Army deployed in America. See, see, see that's... That's my awakening. This is real. This stuff's real. Yeah. People can differ on my interpretation, but I've witnessed Marines training to take our guns with people saying, I'm an American, yeah. please no, not the camp. And then when CNN reported, Marines are training in Oakland today to uh, go to Bosnia. It wasn't Bosnia. They were training for America, and yeah. I was there. And, I, and we climbed through fences, and we climbed around our bellies. I've had, I've had uh, 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 troops before to confiscate footage from us. In San Antonio, walk up and stick a forty-five to our chest, grab my camera guy, slam him down, and take our camera and say, you're lucky. Well, I, 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 like I said, I can't speak to that. That ended up bothering being in the newspaper. That's not happening here in Austin. Like I said, I'm the police chief in Austin, Texas, and my responsibility is to the people of Austin. And uh, we, uh, we believe that we have the resources to handle our own issues. And we have plenty of allied agencies near us that can help us. And I hope that uh, we never get to the point where we, we have to uh, turn over our own uh, 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 public safety to some other agency or some other entity. Well, I want to say this. As things break down and we go into this controlled depression, I've been called a wimp by some people who always call for violence but they never do it themselves yeah. for, for not saying go out and riot and, 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 and go out and blast and go out yeah. and burn. Yeah. Uh, so on record, I am nonviolent uh, unless it means somebody's taking me and my children and putting right. us on army trucks, yeah. which they're trained for. Houston Chronicle, they built FEMA camps. Yeah. So up to that point, I'm not going to a Mount Setung re-education center. But to <laughs> that point, I'm telling folks the enemy is not the police and the ground troop military, and it's only going to help the global architects bring in a new world order if we get to that point. So that's why I, I, I want to have this this you know, dialogue. Yeah. You know this this uh, this this Congress we're having no. uh, because if we don't, I mean this is very real and you're going to see it unfold, no. Chief. Just watch. Well, I, th- I think it, the important thing uh, in, in in a democracy is that we have to be informed, we have to be engaged, and 
you know, I always tell people you can sit back and uh, the reason I'm a police chief is I didn't like some of the things that I'd see, grow, you know, going up and I was a police officer. And you can either spend 30 years in a career complaining about things or you can position yourself to be a change agent. And I've always chosen to try to inc increase my sphere of influence so I can make a difference. So I think that the population that uh, and your listeners, that violence is never the answer. Violence is... Uh, should be uh, the the last resort in any situation. It should only be in a life or death situation. You've got to engage your government. You've got to question your government. And, uh, you know, sometimes maybe you need to run for office and uh, be part of the decision makers so you can weigh in on which direction you want your government to go in. Well, we need good people to do that. Um, Where did you learn the term change agent? I don't know where I learned it, but I I, I consider myself a change agent, and I, and I really believe that. In my career, I'm really proud of the fact that everywhere I've been, I, I've felt that I've been an agent for positive change. And positive change in a nutshell is? Uh, making sure that we're doing the right things for the right reasons, that we treat people with respect, that we uh, respect the rights of our individuals, and more importantly, that, uh, from a police perspective, that we always police in a way, in a manner that's consistent with the constitutional requirements and uh, uh, and with the law of the land. Well, Chief, I notice your crew is out there standing at the door, but you've yeah. agreed to stay to the final segment. You can stay another eight minutes, can't you? Sure. We've got to take a quick break. Are they yelling at me yet? No, no, they're not. We're going to come back in a – in a. they're just moving closer to the door. Your bodyguards are in a tax stance out there. It's not a bodyguard. You're going to think I'm a bodyguard. I'm joking. He's leaning back. Who, who is this nice fellow? That's my general support officer. He's uh, Dennis Ferris, and uh, sometimes he's with me, sometimes he's not. depends on how busy my schedule is. He was telling me about how good your wiretaps are, that they're better than the <laughs> FBI. Yeah, did he? Yeah. Okay, Ferris, you're, you're to be seen, not heard. We've talked about that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now Ferris is going to tell all the commanders to get Jones. <laughs> no. Get Jones. All right, we're going to give out the Austin Police Department website and uh, talk more about that in the final segment with the police chief, Art Acevedo. It's been great having him. I want to thank... Uh, no, she doesn't want to be plugged. If I do, she won't... Let me get through to you again to set you up. I'm not going to do it. No, but you you, have, you you know how to get a hold of me. I gave you my cell phone. So yes. You can you can do it. it you're, you're really working on me. You said we're going to go eat Mexican food because you live in the same neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, Mexican food sounds good. That's all I basically eat. That's why I got this figure. <laughs> anyway. You, yeah, let me know. Okay, listen, I'm going to plug this sponsor, Chief, and give you the floor at the end because we appreciate you coming uh, in here. And uh, You think you're going to turn us. We're going to turn you. All right. You're going to end up being a rebel leader against the New World Order. <laughs> All right. Uh, seriously, folks, uh, my solar backup, mysolarbackup.com, 877-327-0365. This is a great little unit, the, the, the best sponsor we could uh, find out there because we would love to find you know, high-quality products. It's 1,800-watt power system. You get an emergency power backup kit, which consists of power source, 1,800, power plant, and high-efficiency solar panel designed to provide endless electricity. That's right. It generates its free electricity once you've purchased it. MySolarBackup.com, the uh, system that stores the power of the solar panels, the controller, everything. MySolarBackup.com or 877-327-0365. If their lines are busy, keep trying. 877-327-0365. And also another fabulous sponsor, and that is a Cola Blue, the atmospheric water generator. We got it right here in the office. It grabs water out of the atmosphere, upwards of seven and a half gallons a day, three and a half in some of the drier climes. Here in Austin, it's more than more than seven. It's so humid. Uh, at colablue.com, e c o l o blue.com. Again, it's made this show possible today. Atmospheric water generator for the home pays for itself in one year if you buy your water from the store. Pure clean water without the fluoride. Unlimited water from the humidity in the air. And uh, great tasting, pure H2O, exactly the way nature makes it. Then it goes through seven filters after it's grabbed out of the atmosphere. Find out more at acolablue.com or 866-585-4044. Chief, uh, I've thrown out a lot of questions at you. I appreciate you coming in. My last question is this. I know this it's your job to enforce the law. Yeah. The state of Texas has ruled, the state uh, court has ruled, that the company with the red light cameras in Austin and Texas-wide is illegal. They don't have the license to have it, the private investigator license, to be able to uh, gather data. There's no police officer and jurisprudence involved to write the ticket to make the call. Same reason they were thrown out in San Diego. Actually, we write the tickets here. Yeah, well, it's still here, yeah. and the news is saying, and the state's saying it's illegal. Why is Austin saying they don't care and they're keeping them in? You know, I think that's... Uh uh, first of all, police officers here review every one of those violations, and we're the ones that issue the citations. We do not leave that to the Why does the company. state court say it's not right? Uh, I think it was a local court, municipal court in uh, Dallas, and it's under review. And 
Uh, I think that the city's, I'm not a lawyer, so the city's position is a little different.